Right gang, it is official. I am a humongous, humongous idiot. And I'll tell you why, after the intro. Roll it. Right, welcome back gang. Are you crazy here with some more Danish dynamite? Uh, I hope you're doing well. I certainly am, even though I'm a bit embarrassed. Uh, basically, a huge calamity just happened. I was just playing on and on and on, recording all sorts and, yeah, loving life and playing as much as humanly possible. And then today, like, I, you don't know this, but like, that's probably a few weeks ago now. But, yeah, finally today I came to the point where I had to edit some videos. And, uh, yeah, the videos were dead, as in they were corrupted. And one of the reasons for that is because we've had... Uh, hurricane season, pretty much. Last two weeks here in Turkey has been absolutely mental. It's been like 100 kilometers an hour winds and everything. So, um, uh, yeah, uh, uh, my videos were corrupted and of course my save is still, well, ongoing. So I've just played, well, loads and loads and loads of matches and I don't have any footage of it now. Also, the fact that my girlfriend's parents are now visiting. So luckily they're in, they're in town right now. So I had a chance to sit down and look like a proper mug. Otherwise, I don't know, I feel a bit embarrassed sitting like this, screaming at the computer uh, at fictional little characters when they'll, th they'll just think that I'm, well, proper mental. Uh, but yeah. So yeah, I can only apologize for that. I mean, I literally played so many matches. I think I made like three episodes. Yeah, three, three videos, actually. And they were all just dead. And my theory is because <coughs> they're on the external hard drive, that thing has been proper knackered when uh, the hurricane came in. And it just it knocked over the um, some of the power lines and all of the village was basically without power for like 48 hours. And that was kind of ongoing for almost a week where p electricity went on and off and on. And sometimes it would just flicker because it went proper crazy. But uh, yeah, I guess let's just see what have we been through. <laughs> of course, we last met in the, well, SIR corrupt episode with Watford beating us, even though we were at home, and then beat Stone Gars. Yeah. We then went on a humongous run, by the way. This is why it's so annoying that I also I just lost all the footage. But um, yeah, we were unbeaten for so many. I mean, I can't even well, count and that, that's how many. Um, yeah, wins over Leeds, Wolves in the Cup, and then Wolves again. Biro or whatever in UEFA Cup, Leicester, 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 Leicester. I mean, you can see it for yourself here. 4 0 over Tottenham. We absolutely destroyed them. That was a great one. We also destroyed Man United, but of course, Drew, because yeah, errors. Um, <laughs> Drew versus Bournemouth as well, which was uh, a bit of a shame. Who, by the way, they're actually like my fierce rivals because, of, of course, I took over uh, Southampton. So it's like Portsmouth and Bournemouth apparently are our like, proper rivals. I had to answer all sorts of questions about it, at least. Uh, so uh, that was a bit boring. And, of course, Bournemouth are promoted side. So nil-nil at home. I was away. Okay, fair, fair enough, fair enough. But, yeah. Beat Burnley, Brighton, Newcastle, easy peasy, right? We beat Liverpool away. I have no idea how. We proper FM'd him in this one. It was glorious, glorious. And uh, yeah, wins over Sheffield, United, Norwich, Arsenal. We smashed them. I remember that one. We proper smashed them. So that was good. Everton. And then straight back to earth with a pounding. Actually, it wasn't even a pounding. I mean, let's check. Yeah, see, we were winning for so long, but then they just kind of turned it on right at the end. And uh I remembered it as being proper FM, but actually, when you look at the stats, I mean, pretty darn even. So, yeah, we can't hit the target. That's always our problem. So, if they can, there's a chance that they may win. Um, yeah. And then, of course, at some point, Watford turned up again. And uh, surprise, surprise, we got smashed again. And then, the latest, we just beat Leeds 2-0. Um, but, yeah. So, a surprise package in the Premier League, or probably us, because look at this. We are now third. We were even, uh, what was it? We were even second there for a second. Well, first. Uh, but second for quite a while. And uh, yeah, the latest results have now pushed us back down to third, which is, this is all right. I mean, actually, I just noticed we have two more games than you know, a city. This is good. Brighton are randomly up there. Otherwise, and Fulham, I guess, is a little bit, but Tottenham are, well, not very good. Remember in the last episode, they were actually bottom of the league or something, but yeah, they managed to claw their way back. Let's see, do they, what, what, what have they been up to, actually? What's their schedule? So, at least they've started winning some games here and there, but yeah, as you can see in the beginning, whew, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven losses in the first, what's that, nine matches, and only two draws in there. 
not good from Tottenham, which breaks my heart, of course. But uh, yeah, yeah. Some other interesting notes, of course. Mister Eleven finishing. Yunus Yusuf Paulsen is, of course, the top goal scorer in the league. I have still no idea why. Um, I mean, he's even increased in value a little bit by one million. Uh, I'm not sure why, but I mean, he he's decent, but yeah. But uh. Our team has gone through a bit of a revolution here. Let me show you something. Uh, you'll notice the goalkeeper has changed. Well, we all knew that he, Mr. Philip Denhoff was going to play a lot, but I didn't expect him to be playing first choice. But uh, yeah, basically Kasper Schmeichel was history. Let's see. Injuries. Yeah, current injury was for... It doesn't even say. Timeout three weeks. I mean, that's not true at all. Maybe I'm just remembering wrong. I mean, how many matches does, has Denhoff actually played in the Premier League? I mean, he's already played four. Five. No, four. Okay, well, maybe I'm just being daft. Um, but yeah. Anywho, I mean, so many injuries, as you can see. So <laughs> it's been a quite the quite the tale. Uh, Mr. Yu Mohamed Darami has been giving a chance because, well, our other strikers were all injured. And uh, yeah, four goals and uh, three goals and four appearances so far. Sorry. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. And uh, other than that, it's pretty straightforward. Of course, we are rotating here and there because of, well, all the injuries and people all knackered and uh yeah we also we also made a few sales uh people were really keen on my players this winter which you know as you can see we've now exited the winter market and uh yeah especially these shandong from china obviously they apparently were interested in literally all of my players basically and they bit on all of them and it was weird but i did sell sell them lucas anderson because he's just not quite good enough and like, yeah, it was a good offer. I mean, how much did they pay? In thirty million? Yeah, it's not too bad. It's not that I need the money, but he doesn't play enough. Then I may as well just play a region, and I would rather do that than a gamble. Mister Simon K has left as well. I mean, he was whining and all sorts, and he's he's getting old. So let's let's move him on to, in his career. Oh, same with Fisher. I mean, he was whining all the time. He wanted to play, but uh, I just have better players. So why would I start Mister Fisher? He's twenty-seven, right? He turns twenty-eight this year, so. <clears throat> Yeah. Other than that, it's pretty straightforward. I mean, a few loans here and there just to get them some game time. But um, yeah, it's looking pretty decent. Uh, as you can see, all the wanting ones. <laughs> People like there we go again. Shen Shua and Shan Dang. They're they're loving it. They are interested in so many players. The Chinese people are after me. Uh, but yeah, in terms of finance as well. I mean, our balance is actually amazing. That's what you get when you don't spend any at all. I mean, our projection is. Still, that we're gonna lose lots of money. I'm not quite sure why, but yeah, I mean, it must be, it must be wages. Yeah, and of course, because you missed all this, we had some good games in the Europa League, which I did record, and uh, they were pretty awesome games. But uh, yeah, oh well. I mean, we smashed the group completely. It was quite surprising. We did actually do really, really well versus Lyon, which is well strange. But you saw even the match against Sturm Graz, where. Versus the lesser teams, we were just really, really bad. And we kind of scraped some victories here and there. Like 2-0 again versus Biro, 3-0. Like, you want to win more. 1-0 away to Biro, who are, like, I mean, they don't even have any players, right? It's like, ah. But, uh, yeah. Who did we even, I can't even remember who we got, so. Ah, right, yeah, okay, so we don't actually know who we get. Oh my god, I just noticed Arsenal versus Lyon. Well, good thing we fin uh, we won the group, otherwise we could have played Arsenal. Or could we? Does the weird national rule still apply in the first knockout round? I don't know, but yeah, whatever. So, uh, yeah, they, they these mugs have to play first, and then I guess they will draw the next round. It's actually like in 20 days, so uh, we'll see how that pans out and uh, what sort of match we need to play, but uh, yeah. Let's get into a match at least because, well, it's been a while, so I think you deserve to match. And uh, it's versus one of my bogey teams in all sorts of saves, so that should be fun. Wolves, we're coming for you. Right, and our team looks a little bit like this. Um, it's a bit rotated, as you can see, but uh, Stelhoff is going to be in goal. Then it's Vasquez and Nelson Paulson. Familiar backline, actually, Hoybier Delaney, Paul Lars, Nix, and Damsko, Derami. So it's actually almost full strength instead of Schmeichel and probably the striker, but... Other than that, I mean, you can see people are at least coming back soon from uh, injury, so that's good. So, but yeah, let's get into the game and smash some bloody wolves. I want you to pick up right where you left off, even though I can't even remember. I mean, I, did we? I think, I mean, I just showed you. I think we beat Leeds, right? Okay, let's do some opposition uh, thingamajiggies because I do, I do love that. We, weaker foot on all the wingers because, yes. 
and uh, yeah, and then just get stuck in uh, anyone. Yeah, Moutinho, for instance, he's a you know legendary. What's it? What's that called? Like a legendary playmaker of sorts. So uh, let's get stuck in on him, and uh, also Jimenez. Um, <coughs> but yeah. Ah, let's see how we do. I mean, last time I we got wrecked. So actually, did we? No, I'm thinking of Watford. But yeah, oh, Watford Wolves. I mean, it's is he gonna get sent off? He definitely is, right? That's definitely a red card. Yeah. <laughs> is that, by the way, is that Stefan from Atletico? It is. Stefan Savage. That's weird. He plays for Wolves. 21 million. Not too bad. Well, I guess it is bad if he's going to bloody do that after, what, seven minutes? Okay, finally, a highlight at least. Uh, we're going to get a goal from a corner. That seems odd, but apparently we did. You, Mohamed Dirami with the, with the goal and uh, I guess Ericsson with the assist, right? It's a straight corner to him. <coughs> Let's see. And then just Dirami, it almost looks like it was auto, but yeah, Dirami heads it in far corner. Noise. Patricio is well beaten. Good, good, good. Yo, oh, my scout is going mental. Okay, Ericsson with a free kick. Ew, pretty close, pretty close. Okay, first time we see anything from Wolves, at least, well, uh, maybe not. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's going to be difficult for them because they're a man down. But what the heck was that from Paulson? Just calm down. You don't have to shoot from the air. Well, half time. What a scintillating first half. Uh, I'm just going to say I'm not happy, honestly. I, I know it sounds silly, but yeah. Only a 1-0. We, we can't be slacking off. Uh, we need at least one more goal because I mean, look at this. Now it changes. What is wrong with this? Oh, and now Poon Larsen is. Well, get him off. We're going to put Mr. Oliver Villesen on. Bit of a youngster that I'm kind of playing here and there because, well, why not? He's not a regen, but apparently he's a bit of a... He has some potential at least, so may as well. Also, speaking of potential, uh, we got our U-take preview. Not the intake, but the preview. And it said, perhaps a golden generation. Something to look forward to as... <laughs> Gibbs White hit the white upright. Well, that was a lot of white and right and stuff. What is going on in this match? Like, we've seen like what three? This is maybe the third highlight <laughs> or something. This is so strange. And I mean, they're bloody man down. Can we just turn on the burners? I guess when they're gonna do that. So dumb score. Drive it forward. Find a man in the middle, or just do that. I mean, I'm not gonna complain. Great goal for Mr. Dumb score. It even says Mr. Dumb score. Well. Uh, let's just see that again. Terrible from Patricio. <coughs> and then dumped uh, It's just like, I, I wasn't very confident here, but he you know, just slots it. And uh, yeah, nice goal. Okay, well, let's make some changes because, I mean, why the heck not? Hoibia is struggling a little bit. Let's get Mr. Billing on. And Ericsson is struggling as well. So let's put on our nice youth, uh, no, our nice regen here, Mr. Benjamin Jensen, who has just very, very nice attributes, right? For a 16-year-old. He actually just turned 16 as well a few months ago. Very interesting indeed. So uh, hey, let's get him some game time. Oh, and press play. That usually works. Are they going to get a bit of a consolation goal here from a corner? Dendonker and... Oh, what's going on there? Rush hour in the bloody... In the bloody penalty area. Okay. That was a nice kick from the goalkeeper. Up and we somehow... Keep control of it. Uh, okay, Billing to Dorami. He's going to score from there. That was a very tight angle. But uh, good save from Dr Patricio. Well, it's not over yet, though. We lost him to. Who was that? Jensen? Oh, not too bad. I wonder if has he even scored yet? No, no goals yet so far for Mr. Benjamin Jensen. So, very promising, that dude, isn't it? <coughs> we actually just have so many like promising youngsters that the save is going to be super interesting down the line. At some point, well, hopefully, they'll just all become absolute gods. Uh, Steno makes a great save there. Speaking of gods, I mean, hopefully he will be one of them. The goalkeeping god. The next Michael. I mean, technically, he would be the, the, the third Michael then, right? Well, yeah. I was thinking of Daddy Michael as being a legendary keeper. Not sure Casper Kreid has earned that right yet, but he's definitely a very good keeper. Let's just put it like that. So, I think... Daddy boy was uh, was a bit of a legend. I'm probably biased because I'm Danish, but I mean, he was pretty amazing, wasn't he? Right, well, I'm just rambling as the game is now over, so I'm, um, yeah, very happy.
what more can you say? It was pretty easy, right? 2-0. I mean, it does help when they are a man down, but yeah, I'm not complaining because Wolves are, like I said, a bit of a bogey team for me. It doesn't matter who I play. I always struggle versus Wolves and Watford for that matter, but at least Watford is because they are cheating. We all know that, but um, yeah. <sighs> right, well, so far so good. I mean, suggest resting. I'm not going to rest him, but let's see the champ uh, Premier League. I mean, we're second now, but Chelsea can't overtake us. Anyone else? There's Man United are so far down, but the, you can see how the scheduling is really weird. Some teams have just played more than others, and uh, yeah. Liverpool are running away with it this year instead of City, which is, I don't know if it's surprising or whatever, but yeah. Interesting at least, but uh, yeah. Right, well, we're just going to do this one-off game because I was busy rambling and all sorts for God knows how long, so uh, yeah. And then... I shall come back. Actually, I don't really know when I'm going to come back, but it's definitely not going to be as long as the last time. But uh, yeah, might play a few games and then come back. Uh, I don't know. Should we do Fulham Fulham? No, nah, that'll probably be boring. I mean, we definitely want to do some UEFA Cup things. So let's uh, fast forward a little bit and then uh, see you next time. And uh, if you enjoyed the episode and my apology and all that, then don't forget to leave a like and comment and subscribe and all that jazz for more. And uh, till next time.